One uh, type of wavelength that we are able to see is what we call visible light. And I've mentioned about this um, in a different video when we were discussing the electromagnetic spectrum. And so within this visible spectrum of light, right, we have what we call pretty much white light shining um, into a prism, right? So let's let's kind of look at a like the wave model of light, and, and one way to, to to look at it is by imagining shining white light from some kind of source at a um, at a prism. So what's going to happen is that light, when it hits the prism, is going to deflect that visible light into different wavelengths. And, and those different wavelengths that we're going to see are what constitute the, um, the colors of the rainbow, so to speak. So if we look at that white light, and, and, and the first light that we're going to see, really, that first line I should have drawn, was red. And then the next one would be orange. And the next one would get uh, reflected as yellow. We might not be able to see that as well. After yellow, we are going to have green. After green, we are going to have blue. And after blue, we are going to have violet. Right? So within that white light, right, we've shined, right? And let me uh, let me write it then, use it, use black. So here what we have is really white light. Right? And this prism allows for the different uh, wavelengths to be separated, right? Uh, according to how they get, um, I guess, deflected within this prism. And what we form here is pretty much the colors of the rainbow. And this is really constitutes really the 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 type of colors that we can see right so next time you look at the the, the colors of the rainbow right next time you, you you see a rainbow right whether it's a single rainbow or a double rainbow right look for the colors red orange yellow green blue and violet as i like to call it roy g biv and these are the colors of the rainbow and what we have here in this table off to the side is we actually have the colors of the rainbow and this is visible light right what is visible like wavelengths that are actually visible to to the human eye and these are the different wavelengths and the frequency in hertz of these colors and really what I, I do want to make note of is really the wavelengths that's really what I want to look at and if we look at the colors uh, or the wavelengths the longest wavelengths are the red colored wavelengths and the shortest of the wavelengths at 400 nanometers is violet so what does that mean well Knowing really what a wave is, and as we, we mentioned previously, right, we've got the, the wavelength, right, and waves go as such, right, and as we mentioned before, if we measure from crest to crest, right, here we're looking at really the wavelength, right? and, and this is really what we're measuring. And so if we were able to measure the wavelength of the red light, right, it would be 700 nanometers in length. So whether we measured from crest to crest or from trough to trough, it really didn't matter. So the longest of the visible light wavelengths 
is red and the shortest and so as we we go let's say if i was to draw the orange one the orange one right would not be as long right it would be at about 600 nanometers in length right and let's take the the shortest one being uh violet right so violet wavelength would be the shortest of all the wavelengths measuring at about 400 nanometers and there you pretty much have the uh, the colors of the rainbow. So it, as, as we look at this little analogy that I've drawn here with, with the wavelengths, red having the longest wavelengths, right? Uh, having the longest wavelength also has the lowest frequency, right? As, as I've mentioned in a, in a previous video. So the longer the wavelength, the shorter the frequency notice here the greater or sorry the shorter the wavelength the greater the frequency um, that we have so in other words red would have the longest wavelength and the shortest frequency while violet would have the shortest wavelength and the higher frequency